Hello everyone. Today I am pressing um, Silky Socks um, Sports Bra. It is a sample. I'm going to press it. I already put paper inside. Then it doesn't get in the inside. Um, it's my first time doing this, so bear with me. I'm just trying to find out, figure out how to do it or, you know, all that good stuff. So here's my image for the back. And you can see, like I said, I do square. So here's one square. Here's another square. This is the front. And you can see I got little squares for the handle, for the handle, for the straps. So that's how I do it. Measure, measure, measure. So I'm going to go ahead and do the back first. Just in case I have to adjust anything. I'm going to do that. So um, let me put, um, make sure you have your craft paper down. Your butcher paper down. Whatever kind of paper you use to protect your um, press. So this is a sample that the item is going to be coming out very soon. So you're going to see it for the first time. Um, subbed. This is from Silky Socks. So what I did was is where the, um, the seam is. I wanted to make sure my tiger was under the seam. So I measured from the seam to the, to the bottom of the strap. And that's how I got this measurement. So we're going to see. I'm so excited. Make sure it's down. And then, you know, you can't see. So the only thing you do is feel. Let me put my paper down. I want to make sure the... Where my tiger, um, I don't want to make sure he's too far down. Oh, he's on the other side. No wonder. I was like, where is the ear? I forgot. Because I was practicing with it facing me. All right. So that's good. Because I don't want the tongue kind of cut off. I want it still in there. And sorry that, you know, if it's taking too long. First time doing one. Trying to figure out the best way to do it. You know, we go from there. I'm going to put my paper on top. We're going to do with 385. 45 seconds just you know just in case um this was um 13 by 19 um paper that i used so let me cut another sheet for the next press It's just all trial and error. If you're not going to do a full bleed, make sure you lint roll that you don't get those little blue, little stripey lines. And when it comes out, uh, you know, we'll adjust the time and pressure. That's why it's a testing phase. And then my pressure dropped, but that's okay. You can't use the paper again. Wow. Look at that. Right at the seam where I wanted it. Now what you can do with this, if your printer has a scanner, scan this into your printer. And you can use it as a guide. To where to put your, your, um, your um, design. Look at that. Right where I wanted it. The tongue's not cut off. Nothing. 
That's why I put the blowout paper right here. You can see it did not bleed through. I only put it where it was, you know, my paper wasn't cut through. Wow. Look at that. Look at those colors. All right. Let's um, go ahead and change the paper. See, I still can't count. We need a two paper. One day I'm going to learn how to count paper. One day. I hope my lighting is good. It's raining, so the sun is not out. So hopefully it's not too dark for you guys. And once again, I'm trying a new angle. Hopefully it works out. You guys are seeing more of the item. All right, let me move that over. Let me put another paper inside. Then it doesn't um, press um, on the back. Might have to cut my paper down or something. Yeah, let me cut it down some more. It's like a little wide. Remember, this is a sample test run. All learning as we go. All right. I'm just trying to make sure my paper isn't rolling too much. Then I can make sure I get the sides. There we go. And then let's see about the shoulder straps. Pull them down some. Make sure I get those. You don't want to mess those up. Remember, this is Silky Sock Sports Bra that's going to be coming out soon. I'm going to cut this side too because my paper is rolling. And then you don't want it to roll because then it can mess up the sides. There we go. Hopefully you guys will learn something, the do's and don'ts, then you don't mess up yours. My um, press is a 16 by 20 swing away series. I used a 13 by 19 paper for a small um, sports bra. Just trying to make sure my straps. All right, all right, all right. I think we're gonna just go. Stop being nervous. Stop it, stop it. Second guessing yourself. Make sure it's flat. And then, you know, I got to line up my little, my little things. I did them a little wide. Let's see. We'll see if I did them where I did them at. Okay. There we go. Got to come back in the spot. Fill your way. Fill your way. Fill your way. Okay. All right. That's good. Good. Make sure. Yep. My ear is going to be right on the left. Right. Whatever. All right. Let me get my other paper. I'm so excited. The back came out good. Let's see about the front. And you guys probably have seen this image before. I pressed it on mask and boxers, socks. I just love it. With the color, the detail. It's just, it brings everything to life, so.
So when I do another one, you know, I might practice, lower the temp, lower the pressure a little bit. My time is at 385. I don't think I'll lower the time, but maybe the seconds um, and the pressure. We'll just have to see how the color looks. Because you don't want to add too much pressure, because then you can get the ripples and stuff like that. And the wrinkles. Oops, sorry about that. <gasps> wow. Wow, wow. So here you go. Right where I said is going to be cut off right there. It's always good to measure, measure, measure. See, look at how I did that right under. Look at that. Be careful, it is extremely hot. The back. The front. Wow. Awesome sports bra. Thanks, silky socks. Take the paper out. The paper is only to collect the bleed. Awesome, awesome. Until next time, thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe. Have a good one.